In the last episode, we figured out exactly how thick our hull needs to be at a minimum, and then how thick we're going to be making it for strength reasons to not be at a minimum, because this boat is going to be pushed through its paces, so we don't want to build minimum for this thing. Now, in our test pieces, this is five layers of cloth, and this is what we currently have. And it is strong enough. This is quite strong. It's also light in weight, which is a nice factor. But it's also a little flimsy. When I push on it, it gives. Now here we have 10 layers of cloth. It does not give. This thing feels like a piece of stone when you push on it. It's a little heavier. It's a lot heavier. It's twice as heavy. But it's so much stiffer. And I want this to be really, really strong. So we're going to be going for, as you guys already know, a lot more than just five layers of cloth. Now to speed things up, I'm going to try something different. So every time I've put a layer of cloth on this thing, I've done one single layer of cloth. Except for one day when I felt really accomplished because I did two layers of cloth. And the way I did that was I laid a layer of cloth and then immediately I laid the next layer of cloth. So there wasn't really any time savings there. What I'm going to try today is laying multiple layers of cloth in the same area at the same time. So we'll put down one layer, two layers, possibly three layers. We'll see, see how we're feeling there. And lay them down and get a bunch of layers on all at the same time. That way we can speed through this and, and get there faster. So that is the plan for today. And we're going to get working because winter is coming in pretty hard. And as you can see, I'm in a t-shirt. It's 35 degrees outside. I'm trying to heat this place, and if it's not warm enough for me as a cold Puerto Rican in a t-shirt in the middle of winter, then it's not warm enough for the fiberglass either. We've got big plans for the small boat, we're learning as we go. So come along, we'll teach you stuff as we go building wind puff. Okay, so I'm going to be doing something a little different in the layup here. All the other layups have gone straight in a line, like just running forward and aft the whole time. The USS Constitution was nicknamed Old Ironside because cannonballs would hit the side of the hull and bounce off. It was a wooden ship, but it had diagonal strapping, which made the hull so much stronger because the force would hit and be spread out through the whole thing. So. I'm going to lay up this layer of glass as diagonal lines. We're going to go one way for one direction and the opposite for the other direction. We're going to do that with ribbons and then we're going to lay big pieces over the whole thing to kind of seal it all in.
Okay, now we're going to lay the next layer in the opposite direction. So we're creating the diagonal strapping. I'm putting it on upside down. Remember, top strand right side down, not the other way. Whoopsie. So this piece that runs along, comes across this whole way and then comes over to here, that's going to help really tie the whole boat together back here. Uh, so we're going to be emphasizing on getting that piece in a couple times in the subsequent layers you're going to be doing. Now for the other layers, the hoss pipe for the anchor roller kind of breaks up that, that wonderfulness of it. But we're going to do our best to get it in as much as we can, at least over here, where I'll tie it from one side of the hall all the way to the other. And that'll really bring the whole piece together. Now, as far as time savings go, I worked for three hours, which is normally the time I get one layer of cloth on the whole thing. I got 
three layers of cloth on one side. <laughs> so not exactly done in three hours or a huge time savings. It's it got one third done, completely done, in the same time that it would take me to do all three parts once. So it seems that it's about the same amount of time. But we got the diagonal strapping on for two layers. So one goes in this direction, the other goes 90 degrees to it. And then the third layer lays over the whole thing. And then on top of that, I laid a layer of chop strand mat. Not so much for strength, because as I already said, chop strand mat gives no strength. But it does soak up the extra resin that way. It's not resin rich. It's more fibers in the resin. So I got this side with eight layers of cloth. Now I need to do the back and then this entire side. So I have a lot of work yet to go. But I'm really pleased because there's one strap that runs all the way across, across the back, then onto the other side over to here. So it's really tying it together a lot better than not having that kind of a structure. So that's the, uh, that's how it's going. Slowly, but getting there. I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm going to go take a break, eat some food. And then later on, I think I'll be able to get the other parts done. The back's going to go really quick because that's a big flat area. These pontoons are just, they're deep wells. They're, they're pretty, they're pretty labor intensive. It's easiest to put fiberglass on something flat because it, it's flat. Everything self-leveled, you can pour the resin on it. It's so much easier. Vertical is harder, and the pontoons are pretty much completely two verticals. You know, it's, that's all they are. After a little break, give my back a rest, then we'll get the rest of it done. Mm -hmm. 